Well, one of the other principal investigators, Arnie Ferrando, he's, it's his dog actually, Frankie, and he, Frankie and Arnie have been involved in search and rescue and uh, remains detection for several years. And we've been talking, we're good friends, and he had, was bragging about everything that the dog could do. And so we came up with this idea, well, you know, if, if the dog's that good, let's just give it a shot and see what would happen if we actually tried to detect thyroid cancer in urine. He first imprinted Frankie with direct tissue taken from surgery. So it was thyroid cancer fresh out of the body and then snap frozen and then later presented to Frankie and he trained Frankie on both the, the cancer tissue and non-cancer tissue and then just gradually trained him every time he, he smelled the cancer that he would go down. He would go down on the floor. The way that we designed this is it's in a, a blinded fashion. In other words, I see the patients in clinic and as soon as they come to me with a thyroid mass, a nodule, is then we get urine immediately. And then that goes over and, and is stored in the freezer. And then over the subsequent weeks or months is then we do the biopsy, maybe they go to surgery, but we get an answer of what that nodule is, either benign or malignant. And then, mean, meanwhile, um, Dr. Ferrando is testing with Frankie on the urines that we sent over to him. And so they'd say, plus or minus, you know, cancer, non-cancer, and then the final pathology says cancer, non-cancer, and then we, we match the two up, the results. In terms of thyroid cancer, many times I see patients that have 8, 10, 12, 14 nodules, you know, gross in their thyroid, and you can't biopsy all of those. And so what we usually do is offer surgery, you know, to take the thyroid out, or to just watch doing serial ultrasounds to see if any of them are suspicious or if they're growing, etc. If we could get the dogs trained like we think we can, is then they could smell that urine and say either yes or no. And we could, we could prevent or save a number of unnecessary surgeries uh, by, by just using the dogs in that sense. 90% accuracy. So it's, it's not quite the same as doing a biopsy, but it's getting pretty close. Well, for, for Frankie, uh, he's already been involved in scent detection, you know, uh, search for uh, missing persons, etc. So for him, it took a matter of weeks. It was just nothing. Now uh, we've trained another dog named Sophie, and she also was was involved in scent detection, but not to the same extent as Frankie. And for her, it took a month, maybe two. Uh, but the problem is that the, the, uh, Dr. Ferrando only has time to do a couple sessions a week. So we've recently hired a, an ex-marine dog trainer that has six years' experience. And we're hoping that we can really speed up the process now when we get more personnel on board. We would like to do more samples. Right now we've only had a limited number of samples in the 30s and we really would like to ramp that up just to make sure that this is, the statistics are really sound. Yeah, it's much, much similar to all the different purposes that, that dogs have, have been uh, devoted to including you know, bomb detection, drug detection, like you said about about uh, low blood sugars, epilepsy. I mean, they've they've had a tremendous usage, especially in the oncology field. There's no reason that that this couldn't apply to ovarian, pancreatic, lung, to virtually any kind of cancer. Uh, once we're able to establish that this whole principle works and that it works actually in clinic, then we'd like to branch out and, and do ovarian. We're, we're collaborating with a, a, a OBGYN doc at UAMS and he's already collecting samples to test for ov ovarian cancer. What we're really excited about is now we're going to collaborate with Auburn Veterinary School. They're one of the primary trainers for the Department of Defense with bomb detection. But now with all the dogs coming back from uh, Iraq and Afghanistan, they really don't know what to do with them, literally. And so uh, They've agreed to repurpose some of those dogs and, and start training them for cancer detection.